There may be a time when in an emergency, you need to change a wheel, maybe because you've got a flat tire, something like that. Now, a lot of modern cars come only with either a space saver tire or a foam kit. Now, the foam kit is not what we're dealing with here. They have to be used in conjunction with the compressor here. We're gonna keep the compressor because that's useful for checking the inflation of the tire that we're gonna fit. However, we're not dealing with that at the moment, so I'll get rid of this. Nice catch. First thing is safety. Safety is absolutely paramount. Includes a safety triangle set behind the car and get yourself some high vis on to make you far more visible to other road users. Now, if you've covered all of those aspects and you know that everything is clear, everyone's safely out of the car, then you can make a start. Read the manual to find out where the jacking points are and to find out where the tire changing equipment is. What you'll need is a jack, locking wheel nut adapter, and the wheel brace. First thing to do is loosen the wheel nuts while the weight of the car is still on the wheel so that the wheel is firmly on the ground. We can now jack the car up. Locate the jacking point and then start to raise the jack and get it into position. It must be in exactly the right position. We're taking it up until the bottom of the tire is just clear of the ground. We don't want to take it too far up because that will leave us struggling to fit the new wheel once we try and fit it. We can now fully release the wheel nuts. Keep them nice and safe. Use the box that the special adapter came in to place them in. Now the wheel's ready to come off. Your spare should already have been removed so that you're ready to replace it quickly. Line up your wheel studs. And push the wheel home. Start fitting the wheel nuts again. Tighten the wheel nuts just so they start to pull the wheel up to the face of the hub but don't over tighten them at this point. The wheel is now basically secured onto the hub, but the wheel nuts are not yet tight enough. We can't tighten them until we've got the weight of the car back down on the ground, on the tire, on the wheel, and we can remove the jack. And at that point, and that point only, can we start to tighten those nuts. Get your extension into the jack, and then, let the car down onto the ground again. Now we can proceed to fully tighten the wheel nuts. Our wheel is now in place and safe to be driven on. Put all the tools away. You don't have to pack them neatly at this point if you need to get away from the area. Finally, if you have a foot pump or a compressor, do check your tire pressure. Right, we're done. We're ready to get on our journey again. I hope this has been useful for you. And if you want to see more useful hints and tips, check the link.